Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to week number two in April. Today, we are going to learn flower number two, and you guys did such a beautiful job on the first flowers that we did. I have mine right here that we're going to learn one that's a little bit harder to build, but it'll be just as beautiful, and it involves our newsprint again. So mine's gray at my studio here, but yours in school, uh, maybe I'll give you gray, it depends on what color, or we might use the yellow again, okay? So let's check it out and see what to do. Okay, start with your piece of paper going up and down vertically, okay? And now what you wanna do is you basically wanna accordion fold this all the way up. So you wanna fold the bottom up a little bit. Now listen. Don't rush. The slower you do this, the better it's going to look, okay? Now that I folded the bottom up, I'm going to flip it and fold it up again so it's exactly the same size, okay? And then I flip it and fold it. Now we've done stuff like this before. Flip it and fold it, take your time, okay? Because you don't want one side to get bigger than the other or it get all flip floppy and you don't know which way you're going, okay? Just take your time. There's no rush in art, okay? Look at this, I'm almost at the top already, okay? And then, I'm ready for the next step here. I think I have one more fold. Yep, there. Now, once it's done like that, what you're going to do is you're gonna take a pair of scissors, okay? And you're gonna make a point at the end of your fan, like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna flip it and cut the point again. Keep the points the same size. And by the way, don't get rid of these. It's an Earth Day project, so we're gonna try to use every little piece of scrap, okay? So, once it looks like that, I'll show you the next step. So I like to fold this in half now. So I know where the middle is, right? Open it up. Oh, you can see it forming already. So I have a little line right there. I'm going to borrow the stapler. Oops, my staples right here. Oh, don't you hate when the staples always come apart? And I'm just going to put some staples in here. I might have to get a new box. I think we're good. Yikes! Nope. Look at that. I got to fix that. I'm gonna get some new staples. I think those work much better. Let's put a new one in. There we go. And now it should work, right? Where the folded line is, I'm gonna just put a staple. Don't worry if the staple's not 100% in the middle, it's okay. Perfect. Okay. And now I'm gonna take a little glue just, I mean, just put the tiniest bit of glue on the one side. You can hardly even see it. And look, I'm going to connect this like that. And give it a good press. Hey, it looks like a peacock. And then turn it over. Put a tiny bit of glue. You can use a glue stick. Bring this side up like that. Look, oh, isn't it beautiful? And then just kind of, you know, fix and fluff. Now, mine's coming apart a little bit here, so I'm going to speed this along with a staple. But if you hold yours in class, you don't need to do the staple. I'm just putting that there so I can show you the next step, okay? Isn't that beautiful? Look at that already. And now, what I want you to do 
is you have all these little scrappies, you see? We're gonna use those to put on the inside to look like maybe the inner part of the flower. And I'm gonna fluff mine and curl it in a little bit. See, that's what's nice about the newsprint is it's very flexible. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of glue on my finger and just kind of put it in the center here. I might even kind of crush the middle a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Look, I'm just pressing it down. Looks like I ruined it, right? But if I take my scrappies and just mush them in like confetti, you might have to put a couple pieces, or a couple layers, excuse me, of glue to make sure that you're layering this nicely. But that looks great. Oh, so pretty. Okay, hold my, I don't need all those. I think I'll take one of those out gonna use my stick from outside which is really my craft stick but you see how that makes the inside of the flower how pretty right and now all I have to do is take my stick from outside lay it down okay and I have I'm just gonna grab a piece of newsprint that's scrap like that and I'm just gonna cut like a little circle it can look like an egg it's fine just like that and I'm gonna put glue on the circle. Okay, generous amount. And I'm just gonna lay this over the stick and I'm gonna kinda just press it onto the back. That way my stick is held onto my flower. Now mine's obviously not dry but I want to turn it around and show it to you. And it's okay if you press it, don't worry. It's not, it's not you're not gonna ruin it, okay? But you see, look how beautiful. So now once that dries, I can go back and just give it a couple little fluffs because we want it to look beautiful, right? There, so let me hold it up. And here we have flower number two. Isn't that beautiful? And let me put it with flower number one. And our bouquet is growing. Isn't this beautiful? So flower number one, beautiful flower number two. I guess it looks like a sunflower, but to me, I think it looks like, I think they call it a dahlia. We'll have to look that up in school. Beautiful. Okay. So have fun creating flower number two and be ready for flower number three. See you next week, boys and girls. Bye.